Uh, first of all, learning that your baby has a congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a, a very difficult thing, and, and we understand this. We're here to provide the highest level of care for your baby so that they can achieve as close to a normal childhood as possible. When it comes to talking about outcomes with CDH, it mainly breaks down to how big is the hole in the diaphragm and how well or how poorly formed are the lungs. In about 10% of patients, this hole is very small and uh, as a surgeon, I can fix that just by sewing the hole shut. And in many instances, we can do this thoracoscopically, a minimally invasive approach that doesn't even require a, a big incision. These kids will do very well, and you can expect them to basically have a completely normal childhood and life beyond. On the other end of the spectrum are kids that have a very severe disease and also oftentimes have a defect in one other at least major organ system such as the brain or the heart or the kidneys and unfortunately these kids in general do poorly. If they survive they have chronic medical problems that are significant that require lots of doctor visits, lots of trips to the hospital. In the middle is a group of patients that we really focus on because these are kids who probably wouldn't have survived 10 or 15 years ago but now with our abilities around the time that they were born, they do survive. And we're finding that by the time they leave the hospital, they'll continue to have some significant medical problems. And these include things like developing their milestones later, so things like sitting up and walking and talking later than their peers would. Other problems like hearing difficulties or problems with feeding and growth that might require medications or procedures to help them grow more normally. 